Good morning, BUHS. Today is March 2nd, 2023. <laughs> Let me tell you a little something about me. My favorite thing to watch is BUHS TV. Now listen, I'm not trying to be mean, but you better put our show right back up on the screen because we got hometown sports and weather too. Talking about the world and the funniest news. Keeping you posted on what's going down. There's so many cool things going on in this town. Check it. Join us on our expedition on BUHS television. We the oddest, hottest, and funniest crew. We gonna show you some things that you never knew. Yeah, so sit back and watch this through. Here's a little message from us to you. Hey. B-U-H-S TV. Hit TV drama thriller Outer Banks just released a third season. Time to go grab some comfy clothes and popcorn and get ready to binge now to the weather with Seth. Hey there, people. Coming off of a pretty crummy week for weather-wise, but it's looking good, so I can get rid of this now. Anyway. <laughs> Back to the weather. Starting off tomorrow, Friday, it's going to be partly sunny, high of 42, low of 30. Moving into Saturday, it's going to be snowy again, unfortunately. But it's not going to be too much, hopefully. No, now that I said that, it's going to be a lot. Anyway, high of 37, low of 27. Moving into Sunday, it's going to be pretty clear, partly sunny. Uh, it's going to be low of 28, high of, 20, high of 47. Monday, partly sunny again. High of 45, low of 27. And then Tuesday of next week, it's going to be sunny for the most part. And it's going to be high of 41, low of 27. Back to the desk. Lego Palooza is on March 2nd on the, uh, at the Bradboro Memorial Library. They will provide the Legos, so you just get to build. The event goes from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Now over to sports with Darian. Uh, winter sports season is coming to an end. There are a few games left. For example, this weekend, K. Dalla is headed to the Maple Lanes for state championships with the rest of his bowling team. You should most definitely pop out and support your BUHS varsity bowling team. Yours truly, D. Wade with a fade, might not make an appearance because I don't know if I will be allowed on the bus because Mr. Bassett didn't like my jokes because apparently I'm annoying, but I don't think so. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, tonight, 7 p.m., boys varsity basketball team said, is headed to St. John for the quarterfinals. Pop out, show some school spirit. Back to the desk. Do you like the circus? Well, I've got some spectacular news for you. This Saturday, March 4th at 7 p.m., latest theater in holding a performance of the circus spectacular Tickets cost between $15 and $20. Go enjoy yourselves, homies. If you want to calm down and focus on some inner self-centering, come to Guilford Cares every Thursday starting at 9.30 a.m. They will be offering a free beginner's Tai Chi class, so come on down. Boston Cart... Boston Concert, the artist Wizkid will give a concert next week on March 15th in the MGM Music Hall in the Fenway, Boston. Tickets start at $33 and go up $499. The concert will start at 7.30 p.m., so there will be enough time to drive there after school. Do you like observing art? Come check out the 44th Annual Art Space Market at Greenfield High School, which is only five days away from now. This event will take place on March 4th at 10 a.m. Now over to World News with Paul. Hey, welcome to World News. I'm Paul. Uh, going on in the world, the FDA Advisory Committee is recommending the world's first RSV vaccine for approval. The Pfizer and GSK vaccine is being recommended for older people to combat COVID. Bad. While it might take a few more months till it sees public use, it is still a big step forward for this type of vaccine. In other news, TikTok is setting a screen time limit for its users under 18 CBS reports. The app will limit users to one hour per day as new studies show a link between social media 
and mental health problems in teens. Now, back to the desk. Many people enjoy the simple things in life, such as sugar on snow. This Saturday, Saturday at the Bro Broadbrook Community Center, there will be a sugar on snow s supper after a long-awaited two-year hiatus stop by between 5 and 7 p.m. for some sweet treats. Come enjoy a karaoke night with Dusty Dufferins. This event will be on Saturday, March 4th at 8 p.m. at Monted Elks Club in Tunis Falls. Massachusetts. Now, funny news with Terry and, but I think, yeah, he is fine. What is up, BUHS, and anyone else who is watching? I got some funny news for you. <coughs> this just in Florida man was charged with assault with a deadly weapon after getting into an altercation at a drive through window. Uh, this man's name was James, and he was arrested shortly after and released with a $6,000 bond. Now yet again, you're wondering, how in the world is this funny? Yes. Why would a deadly weapon be funny? Yeah. Why, why would it be funny, yeah. I regret to inform you, it is not that funny. But, okay. it's kind of funny, because no one was harmed. And guess what the deadly weapon was? Yes. I, I'm going with the banana. Banana. Yeah. So, what do you think? Um... What do you An think? Apple. Oh, apple? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's only six hundred dollars. Can't be six thousand yeah, dollars. Oh, oh. Yeah, I mean, for, a, for a deadly weapon, for a deadly oh. weapon, it's not. Yeah, what do you think, Michael? Your mom. Oh, close. <laughs> An alligator. <laughs> um, An alligator. This man drove up to the drive-through window, threw a three-foot-long alligator into the window, and drove away. And no one was harmed. Nobody was harmed. The alligator was friendly. <laughs> 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 Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so next, sure. next time you go to the drive through bring your alligator. But I'm not. I'm not sure how that works. I mean, like if you throw an alligator, wouldn't he be angry that he got thrown? Maybe, the or maybe he's like happy. He's finally away from <laughs> that crazy man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm back to the announcement. Oh, did I cut you off? No. All fine. right, back to the announcement. Come chat, check out a new art exhibit at the Fine Arts Gallery at Landmark College. <laughs> Cultured by Landmark College Associated Professor at Art Samuel Roulette, an exhibit called The Course of Human Events opened by February 15th and will be on display through April 21st, 2023 in the Fine Arts Gallery. It is open to music daily from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The five-year wait ends as long as anticipated. Creed 3 hits serious. This Friday, March 3rd, Michael B. Jordan returns as Adonis Creed, still dominating the boxing world as a childhood friend and former boxing world champion prodigy returns after doing time to prove he deserves his shot in the ring. Now, over to Cam, who will do student profile. What's up, BUHS? I'm back again here to announce the second student of the week. This week, we are spotlighting Devin Spino, who is a senior at BUHS. Devin is from the town of Brattleboro and has distinguished themselves at BUHS for being an absolute academic weapon and a great football captain. If you see Dev around campus, be sure to say hello and congratulate him for committing to Western New England University. Back to the desk. Hello teens of Brattleboro. Are you someone who is interested in writing and or games? The Teen Library Broad hosts a free writing based event on the Brooks Memorial Library. This event is located in the teen room of the library on the second floor. It will occur on Thursday, April 6th from 7 to 9 p.m. and also Thursday, May 4th to 7, from 7 to 9 p.m. Now to the trivia with Michaela. Okay. So our first question is a tricky one. Mm. How do you spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious? S U P R E R. Hey, S e wait, let me try again. You gotta do it slower. Can I redo it? S U P E R. S oh. Oh no. Super. No, that's, yeah, I think I got super it. S U P. Super Califragilistic Expel. S U P E R C A L I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fragilistic. <laughs> Docious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question. Uh, the answer is S U P E R C A L I F R A G I L I S T. I C E X P I A L 
I D O C I O U S. I think if you would give me two I got more that. minutes, yeah, two more minutes, I would get it. Mm. Like Didn't I needed take to me think minutes. a bit. Yeah. You had a paper to read from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, next question. What is the Cookie Monster's real name? Gerald. No. Um. Hmm. It's a blue one. Bob. No. <laughs> Henderson. Mm. No. Mm. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster. Uh, oh, oh. Baker. Because you, you, you bake cookies. Is that close? Sid. Mm, close. Sid. Okay. That's close. <laughs> okay. That's close. What do you call a group of unicorns? Unic unicorns. Unikai. Unikai. Unigroup. No, no. Unicorn is not in the name. Unicorn pack. Pack. It's no. not <laughs> in the name. <laughs> oh. Um, group of unicorns. The needle noses. The needle f faces. No. The A blessing. The blessings? A blessing. A Why? blessing. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. <laughs> oh. Why do dogs like squeaky toys? Because it hurts their ears. So they like to attack it. What toys? Squeaky toys? It puts they them go, in pain. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Because they can hear the, the murder that they're trying to do. They that's yeah, yeah, it mimics a dying animal. <laughs> so yeah. Wow. All right, last question. That's a little rated R. Jeez. <laughs> what was Walt Disney afraid of? Porcupines. Nope. Losing money. Ooh. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. Um. It's an unexpected one. Wait, Mickey what was the Mouse. question again? Mice. Mice. Oh. What was the question? Wow. She said Mickey afraid? Mouse was mice. <laughs> the question was, what is Walt Disney afraid of? Mice. Mice. Mm. Alrighty, yeah, well, that's all the trivia I have for question. today. Oh. Back to the desk. Finally, after this, we Actually, can we're going go over to the to the special with <laughs> Kelton and Darian. <laughs> Yo, what up, BMHS? Uh, so, looking at the schedule, we got a four-day weekend, and mm. knowing you, you're going to be sitting there. What am I going to do with four days? Luckily, we are here to give you some inspiration. A little something to do. Huh. Let's start it off. Saturday. Hmm, Saturday. You wake up. Where are we going? Where we going? Huh? We going to the Chizzy. The bowling team is going to win the Chizzy. You're going to want to be there. For the people watching, yep. not me, what does Chizzy mean? Chizzy? Mm -hmm. It means we're going to be the champion. Champion of Vermont and champion of the world. And trust me, if we win the Chizzy, Saturday night, the Chizzy, it's all yours. The chizzy oh. party. Chizzy party. Rolling, My place. In, rolling into Sunday. My place. What are you doing Sunday? Cleaning up after the party. We're going to be cleaning up. But, who knows, maybe go catch the new Creed. Oh. Have a relaxing day. Clean up. Clean up. Watch Creed. <laughs> have a Creed party. Creed party. At Kellen's house. At my house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And then rolling into Monday. Another party. Everybody's getting kicked out of my house. Uh, oh, they're spending the night. Yep. Another party. Yep. Mm -hmm. But Monday. Yeah. Maybe get some hot chocolate, get a sled out. Mm. Go to Memorial Park. Mm. Hit a jump. Mm. Who knows? That sets you up. You still have one more day. <laughs> what are you doing on the last You're day? You're not though? done yet. Not the done weekend's yet. not done. Uh uh. No. What are we doing Tuesday? What are we doing? What uh, are we doing Tuesday? Because I don't know. <laughs> you're, you're gonna be recovering. Recovering. And Crazy then rolling party in, rolling in, you're probably gonna call out Wednesday. Hit the gym. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> There's just no time. Not but, no. you stick to this four-day weekend plan, and you'll be set up for success. Yeah, Chizzy. Mm -hmm. To the Chizzy! To the Chizzy! <coughs> oh, and to the desk. <laughs> Thank you for watching BOHS TV, and we see you at Kelton's party. <laughs>